Hello, hello. Welcome to my channel. I'm Bets Golden. I'm so glad you're here. And if you are uh, jumping on again, welcome back. Today, I am going to... Um, actually, this is kind of an interesting one, you guys. I, <laughs> I'm i going to admit it. I am not a Doodlebug fan. Um, I find for my... like Some people can do this, and it looks so cute. They do beautiful things with Doodlebug. I have a hard time with it because it's so cutesy and I'm not a cutesy artist. I'm a bright and whimsical, colorful artist. With that being said, I absolutely love some of their patterns that, get this, don't have these faces on it. I think that that's what I have a hard time with with Doodlebug is the faces that are put on things that don't, shouldn't have faces on it. Like, I think that this would be super cute without the face. Same with that. Same with that. Same with that. Like, do we need the faces? For me, no, I don't need the faces, but some people really enjoy them and they do a great job with them. I struggle with this. With that being said, um, over on Instagram, I'm doing a collaboration with a friend and she um, had just gotten this pumpkin spice line. So we decided that we would create a project with it. Um, and we had to use, I think it was three sheets of pattern paper and at least two stickers. So I went through the line and I didn't want to spend a ton of money um, on a line that I'm not crazy about. So I picked out the paper and the cardstock stickers that I knew I could use. I love this little guy, this little raccoon. He is so cute. He is dimensional. So I appreciate that entirely. Um, his name is Rocky and I think he is just darling. I'll use the leaves, but again, the faces on him, not my thing. Cute, but I'm not a cutesy artist. I'm so sorry. And then this little guy, this, I couldn't pick between the two. So I just got him both. This is Fox and Friends. Again, so cute, dimensional, little pop sticker. He's a cardstock sticker. And then also these mushrooms that are darling. Again, kind of wish that there wasn't a face on them. And I thought about popping off these top ones to take the face off, but it looks like even underneath the pop dots, there's faces. So I'm just gonna leave them and work with them. Then for my pattern paper, I've got this, and I'm actually gonna create a scrapbook layout. I'm gonna scrapbook 12 pictures that have not been taken. I, I haven't gotten them back from the printer yet, um, but I'm going to show you what those pictures are um, in the next little clip here. But I'm going to do super lazy. I'm gonna do one layout with 12 pictures and I'm gonna do a flap. I've done that before. And I'm going to use these three pieces of cardstock. And what is nice about Doodlebug is that both sides of the cardstock are printed. So there is a pattern. So I can really get a lot of use out of this. I'm going to be labeling the main fall. So I'm going to be using those letters. I don't have to pull in any thickers and nothing. I'm just going to use those as my title. And then the back side of this is so cute. I love this print, the leaves. Had I known that I was going to be using this as my title, I probably would have gotten two sheets of this because I really like this. So there's this sheet. And then the next up is this sheet right here. Um, and this has this loveliness on the back. I really like it. I bought it more so. I'm a big plaid fan. So I just love this. And I love the bright colors on this. I love fall. I love fall. It's like my favorite season, but it's super hard for me to scrapbook or even do cards because it, I'm not a warm, uh, color person. I like the cools and this does it. This is bright and whimsical or focusing on the blue and the green. And then we also have that bright orange coming in and some yellow. Um, so there you go. And then the last sheet that I'm using is this one and, um, the backside are these coffees and I'm not really a big fan. I love the coffee. I think that's so cute. I'm not really a big fan of the repeated little figures over and over and over again. Like for this, I would like use a strip of something. Okay. And I don't like the faces on it, but that's just me. I'm not knocking Doodlebug. There's some stuff that I do that you guys probably don't like either. And it's a personal taste. It doesn't mean I'm a bad artist. It doesn't mean I'm a good artist. It doesn't mean you're a bad artist. It doesn't mean you're a good artist, but in art, there is a variety. We each have personal taste that we like and it's 
important that we recognize that we respect one another, but we stick to our true art. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay. So, um, I just want to, I just want to clarify that because sometimes we get super wrapped up in that and we take a personal attack to it. If I like something and you don't, or you like something and I don't, and it doesn't have to be like that. All right. So I'm just saying that right now. All right. And then to pull in, to create the layout, I have pulled in, I'll just pull these up again so you can kind of see the colors. Um, I've pulled in this piece of green cardstock, and then I'm going to be creating the layout from two pieces of orange. Basically, this is, there's two reasons on why I'm doing this. Um, the orange it's fall. I mean, orange is a fall color. So we're going to go with that. Plus it literally is the only color that I had two pieces of 12 by 12 on. So it worked well. And then I love this blue too. So this is what the palette's going to be. And then I also pulled in some Nubo drops. I wasn't sure if I wanted this in the sparkly or in the regular. So I pulled them both in and then some glow in the dark green ones. Not sure if I'm going to use that or not. And then some sparkly, um, I think this is orange soda. Now the trick is that it's going to kind of pull this all together is I'm going to be using some foam dots. Um, so I'm going to be using foam dots. This is going to be kind of how I create a simple layout is I do a lot of dimension. So I'm going to do these and then to ink the edges and things I'm going to be pulling in my archival ink. I'm probably going to want to go with like a ground espresso or I was thinking black suit, but since it's fall, I probably am going to stick with some brown edges and I'm just going to create this layout. Let me show you the pictures that I'm creating this for. The sizes on these pictures, look at this. This is my notes. Isn't that funny? Um, I'm going, originally I was going to do one layout with four by four pictures with six of them and there's no people in those. It's just like the farm. And then I had another one I was going to do with more four by four and there were ki my kids in those. So two pictures and then another layout with two vertical and three horizontal, like four by threes. And they were a combo of pictures and then just regular stuff. But I'm like, you know what? I totally can fit all 12 of these pictures and make a cohesive layout on one that will fit in one page protector without a problem. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I'll show you the final on that. And again, I'm working with, you know, four by four squares. I'm working with, you know, three by four for her, um, horizontal, three by four vertical. So there's a lot of different shapes, which is actually great because it provides a lot of different, um, a lot of different variation and interest to a page. So I'm excited and I'm super excited that my friend recommended this line, even though it's not what I would normally pick out. Um, it is, it's exciting for me because it's forcing me to do something that normally I wouldn't do. So that to me is totally worth it. And um, I'm excited about just creating, like flexing that creative muscle, you know? by doing something out of my comfort zone. All right. So up next, the video, the pictures that I am scrapbooking. is totally cut out and ready to be put on this um, layout. I kind of have an idea of what I want to do, but the first thing I need to do is I need to make that flap. So I have two 12 by 12 sheets and I'm going to set one aside because that's going to be the base. And I'm going to make a flap out of the other one. And I want 
my flap to fold in. I think I did seven inches. So let me see here. Let's see how big this one is. Yeah. So I wanted to fold in seven inches. And it's a touch too big, which is okay because I wanted to cut it down anyway. So I'm going to cut this down to a 12 by 9 inch. And I have a scrap piece of paper, you know, scrapbooking. That can go somewhere sometime, so I'll just set that aside because I don't need it for this. And then from here, I want to take my scoreboard out one more time. And I just want to score it along the 7 inch mark. So right there. And I'm going to go over it. twice. All right. So from here, we're going to make our flap. We're going to take this sheet and I actually want the flap to be on the top like this. So I'm going to fold this over like so. Take some of my liquid adhesive or tape runner, whatever you have. I like this and just Take that, I'm gonna line it up with this crease. And I do have a video out on how to old, uh, how to add flips and flaps to your layout. So if you want to know more about that, you can check out my channel and I do have more on it. And a little bit more adhesive here because I didn't line it up perfect. pretty good. Now this folds over to create a 12 by 12 and we're, I'm going to decorate both this side. But you have this on the back. So what I did was I took this 12 by 12 right here. This is like a, oh let's see, this is a 12 by, I don't know, it was a 12, 12 by two and a half. And so I'm just going to take this 12 by two and a half and add it over um, this, this crease right here. There we go. All right. So the back is done. The front is done. Ready to pop that out. And I'm going to put the layout together and show you what it looks like when it's finished the layout. And I just have to put my pictures in, but this is what I have going on right here. I ran this little border down here and I just made it go. It's like, cohesive entirely through this layout and then through the back, which I'll show you in just a second. Um, whenever you're putting any kind of embellishment over where your picture is, obviously you don't want to glue it down along those edges because then your picture will overlay it. So I just put a pop dot on or I adhere it on the corner that is not covering any of the mats. And I did that one over here as well. Did a little sticker bust over there and then did some more stickers down here. I put circles in the corners and honestly you guys when I was doing this layout I was a little bit concerned because I'm like oh I did not buy enough pattern paper. Never thought that I would that would come out of my mouth but um, I made it work. I just took the paper and um, a circle cutter and I just cut half circles out so it looks like there's more there than there really is. Um, and since the pages are double-sided, I was able to make, pull in a lot of different things. And then when you flip it over, of course, it's like this. These are all on pop dots. This is on a pop dot itself. So there's some fun dimension there. And then the back side of it is this. And it all works together. And I had originally thought the circles for this corner because I knew that this, I needed to cover this up. I didn't have enough pattern paper to do like an entire sheet of it. Normally I would do that fold like I showed you previously and then put a piece of pattern paper over it and go from there, but I didn't have enough pattern paper. So I did this instead and um, I think it's really cute. And there's the other little pop right there. And as you can tell, we can do 13 pictures on here and it folds out. Now, that's something to keep in mind. When you put it in your page protector, 
um, obviously in order to fully extend out this layout, you're gonna have to pull the paper out. Um, so just keep that in mind um, that if you do a, a top loading page protector, you're gonna have to just take it out. Or I have seen where people slit the side um, and then this lays over the side. There's ways to do it, but I just put it all in there um, and then people can just pull it out. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this, gave you some ideas on how you can create um, a layout with maybe some things that you wouldn't have thought to get personally. I'm super excited about this one. I think I had more fun doing this page than I've done in, a, in a, 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 several in a long time, just because it is so out of the ordinary for me, you know? Um, this isn't my style, and so to break away and just to utilize something that's not my style and kind of turn it into my style and my thing was so much fun and exhilarating. Um, so I encourage you to just you know, get out there and use something that maybe you don't think that you can. And you're going to come up with something pretty cool, I think. Um, and then also, if you're interested in any of the products I used, I will have them listed down below for you. Again, it, it was literally two little pop cardstock sticker packs, which are these little dudes, and three pieces of um, doodle bug um, pumpkin spice line and then just some cardstock out of my stash and then the Nuvo dots out of my stash as well. So I'll have everything listed for you so you can create your own, but this is a lot of fun. And make sure you check out my Instagram account so you can see what um, the other gal did with her same line. Until next time, I'm Bets Golden. Happy crafting.